gentlemen, boils and ghouls, children of all ages, welcome to Professor Slither's Creepy Critters. Before we begin, we would just like to inform you that the first 128 rows of seating are our splash zone. Also, please do not touch any of our animals during the show. That goes double for the professor. We don't really know where he's been. And now, please welcome the star of the show, Academy Award winner for most annoying person at a theme park, the one and only, Professor T. Slither! <laughs> Professor, it, is the microphone on? Can you turn the power on? Can someone please turn on the power? Hi. Uh, that's my lab animal, Oreo. She's been running amok for about a couple weeks now, so when you see her, make some noise so I can catch her, okay? Okay. Well, on that awkward note, my name is Professor Thaddeus Slivers II. That's right, clap for me. And... I'm sexy and I know it. <laughs> How's it going? High five. High five. High five. Come at you. Welcome to my brand new laboratory here at Six Flags Great Adventure. Well, boys and ghouls, it's my favorite time of the year. It's Halloween! Can you all say that with me? Halloween! And this is where I like to get caught some creepy critters. Let's get it! <laughs> I got you. I can smell you from here. You need new underwear. <laughs> all right. So I got all my ingredients set up over here. Got my old cauldron dusted off. The only problem is I'm missing my assistant. Have you seen her? About yay big witchy outfit. Anything? No? All right. Well, on the count of three, let's all yell, Witch Hazel! And she'll come out. Here we go. One, two, three. Witch Hazel! You're a whole two minutes late, Sister Hazel. What happened? Sorry, Professor. I just learned from Wichita. <laughs> Wichita, I get it. And boy, are my arms tired. <laughs> she flew. LOL. Raffle. Oh, Hazel, you're such a nut. <laughs> Nothing. <laughs> Nothing at all. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> hey! Hey! Where's my Spells for Dummies book? You forgot to bring it with you. Go get my Spells for Dummies book. It's in the back cubby hole. Sorry, Professor. I'll explain while I go ahead. All right. Well, this is what's going to happen, okay? She's going to bring me out this Spells for Dummies book in the Bones and Noble near you for four Here dollars. it is. There it is. Thank you. Here it is. I have it. Um, so, this is what's going to happen. I'm going to read a poem about a creepy critter that I'm trying to concoct. Which Hazel over there is going to take some of those ingredients and throw them right there into that cauldron. Now, when I'm done reading this incantation, if you will, I'm going to ask you what animal I'm trying to conjure up. You're going to scream it at the top of your lungs. Which Hazel's going to pull that creepy critter out of that cauldron, and you're going to get scared. Ha ha ha! You're gonna get scared, you're gonna get scared, and especially you. I think you're doing a good job, Professor. I am doing a fantastical job. That's what I do. I combine words and make them up. All right, before we do here anything fun here at Slither's Laboratory, we must first go to the cauldron. Every day I'm shuffling. Awesome 
box have you had there? How'd you make that? It was easy, Professor. Step one, cut a hole in the box. Step two, put your... Okay, that was mildly inappropriate. Whatever, I'm sick of that song anyway. Yeah, see, you need to get they... some gun messed up. <laughs> gun <laughs> Hey, sexy lady! Why don't we have that? I'm gonna get Dead McMahon to put that in the show one day. All right. All right. Uh, arise now. You serious? You serious right now? Hold on, let me go get an elevator for you to dance in randomly. Maybe a song. Maybe a sauna, but that would be really scary, because that scared me. Arise now, friend, who rhymes with wizard, who has a long tongue and a long tail. A cold-blooded one captures heat from the sun, whose legs move faster than a snail. Three, two, one, kids, what is it? That's right, it's a big, scary, slimy lizard with sharp claws that cut you into bits of roast beef and put you on a Kaiser roll and eat you with berries and a side of coleslaw to pick Oh, baby, why? We take these really biceps. Masculine, Professor. I know, and so is he. That's why I picked him. Good job. But this isn't scary. This is Sydney. Everyone say hi to Sydney. Hi, Sydney. Sydney here is our blue tongue skate. Which means she has a blue tongue and lots of boyfriends. <laughs> no, Professor, a skink. Oh. What it's a lizard native to Australia. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I mix up my vowels once in a while with an I. Got it. Skink okay. with an I. Well, that blue tongue of hers is really cool because it looks like a flower petal. Insects will crawl right on her tongue so she can gobble them up. Really? Really. A flower petal? Yeah. What is this? Welcome to the 60s. Is John Travolta going to come out in a fat suit? <laughs> well, that would be scary. That would be kind of scary. Especially if he's in a dress. Yep, and dancing with Christopher Walken. <laughs> <laughs> Terrifying. Terrifying. Well, get to the part where it wraps that blue tongue around children and, and swallows them whole. No, Professor. She doesn't eat children. Sydney here is an omnivore. An omnivore. An omnivore. Can you say that? She's Amish, she hates technology. Do it. No, Professor, an omnivore. It means that she eats not just insects, but also plants and vegetables. Also plants and vegetables. That just sounds expensive, and I don't do well with expensive. I work at Six Flags Great Adventure. Is this thing scary? No. This thing's not scary? No. Well, then get it out of here. Get it out, get it out, get it out. All right, everyone say goodbye to Sydney. Bye. Sydney. It's ridiculous. The world's about to end. 2012, I still can't complete my dream of scaring children. Wow, he really wants Double to come ring. in. Come in. Hey, Professor. Hey, thanks for ringing my doorbell three times. You're welcome. I was thinking about ditching. Yeah, I no, there's a reason it. why I don't answer your phone calls. Oh. Really? What's that? Hey, wait a second! Are you serious right now? You're, you're doing a show without me? Yeah. After all we've been through, we've been doing this thing for six years. You forget about your old pal, Ted McMahon? No, I didn't forget about you. I just never called you because I wanted to put Gundam Style on the show, and you said it'd be a bad idea. I kind of changed my mind about it. You did? Yeah. Yeah, you we know it'd be bad. All right, listen, we're getting off topic here. Okay. All right? You walked in on the perfect time. Really? I need a good old-fashioned guinea pig. <laughs> So you gotta weigh your pros and cons. Mm -hmm. Pros, cons. Come on, think it's about a it. Very nice tree. It is a very beautiful tree. I like it. It must be great in the 60 degree <laughs> weather that suddenly changed from 80 degrees yesterday. It's 50s. Uh, it's anyway, Professor, I don't know how I feel about all this. You know, the whole being your guinea pig. Yeah. Who's a good boy? Who's a good boy? Me. Yes, you are. Yeah, yeah. Yes, you are. Now listen up, okay? I need someone who is strong. Someone with pride. Someone with dignity. Someone with grace. Someone I can say, hey, I need a good 
cup of coffee, or hey, make me a sandwich, or hey, wipe my hiney. I need someone that will be my guinea pig. Can you tag us on Facebook? We need a new profile default picture. Thanks, bro. Yeah. Yeah, bro. Ski bro. Me up, bro. Bye, bro. Side. You write poetry, Edgar Allan, bro? I like that one. Thank you. Yeah. Like Romeo and Juliet. You know what my favorite president is? What? A bro Ham Lincoln. <laughs> all right, let's actually That's do your... a show. You know, all right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm getting off Thanks. topic, all right? You still have no idea if you want to do this, but yeah, I'll, really. I will convince you, okay? okay? All I have to do is throw these ingredients into the cauldron, and then you turn it into something spooky, okay. and you get to be part of the show. Ooh, fancy the fancy. show? Deal! All right, let's get started. All right. There, all right? Okay. Yeah, go ahead. I'm going to try. Okay. 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 Let's see. What can I do here? Uh, hey, look. A football. Well, I asked for the Red Rider BB gun for Christmas, but the fat guy gave me a football. What kind of present is that, right? You would have just shot your eye out, Professor. Yeah, I, I would. That's what they said. I'll shoot my eye out. Yep. Well, this one's fizzling up nice. Ooh, West Side Story. I love this musical. Oh, no. oh God. Uh, <laughs> when you're a jet, you're a jet all the way from your first big fumble to your last turnover play. Stop. What? Cut. What? How is Tebow scary? Professor, Tebow is terrifying, especially if you're a Jets fan. You guys are never going to win another game. Oh, yes. You know what's more terrifying than that? What's that? The fact that Jets fans exist still. <laughs> Did you see that game last weekend? Zero to 34? <laughs> wow. All right. Well, let's get back on track here, folks. Before we do anything, we must first go back to... The Cauldron! The Cauldron! What? Out of the way, Professor! I hate this song. Terrible. Oh, where'd you come from? Oh, I'm sorry, did I interrupt your mediocre song? Yes. No, it was like number one on iTunes all summer. Oh, you know what else what? was quote unquote number one hit? What? Rebecca Black. Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Yeah, but that song sounds like number two. Yeah, it does sound like number two. I agree with that. <laughs> Whee! Anyway, speaking of music, I'm gonna go get a spot in the crowd for Dead Man's Party. Love that show! Yeah! No! Sign it! No! Don't leave! The premise is more dead than the cast! <laughs> go see Ghost. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now I'm back on track. How now, Brad Cow? Okay. These little creatures that form a ball are spiky. It's quite ironic. There's a famous one, collects coins for fun, and his cartoon name is Sonic. Three, two, one, kids. What is it? Hedgehog. That's right. It's a big spiky hedgehog with sharp quills, and it shoots it out, and it lands on your face, and you look like a giant pin cushion that your grandmother uses when she knits you a sweater. Uh, what? Ah! Ah! for salt because she'll give you high cholesterol and turn you into a zombie. Not this kind of salt, Professor. She's an African pygmy hedgehog. African pygmy hedgehog, which is exactly what she's going to explain to you because I already know this. Well, salt, pygmy just means that salt's a smaller species of hedgehog. Oh, that's cool. But what makes her really cool is that she's albino. Okay, she's abominable. Keep going. Albino, Professor. All that's right. why she's all white with those red eyes. That her shoot sister, lasers? No, Professor. Oh, uh, okay. But her sister has average color or darker coloration like most hedgehogs, so we named her Pepper. Wait, hold on, hold on. Audience, hold. You just got Rick rolled. You did just get Rick rolled if you didn't notice. <laughs> Anyway, let's get back on track here. I've been saying that a lot this show. But anyway, you're down top possibly talking about salt and pepper. Yeah. Hey, what are you doing? Get out of here. 
here. Sorry. Why do you have to come up here and cramp my style? I'm adding to your style. What? 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 How <laughs> dare you brush it off? Go ahead. Anyway. Yeah. Salt here is an insectivore. Insectivore! I have nothing. I have nothing witty. I just like to say it. Well, it means that she eats insects. She actually stays up all night walking around looking for them, but she'll sleep all day. All you know right. That is Professor. My uh, I'm going to say that is a teenager with a Call of Duty problem. No, Professor. It's called Nocturnal. Not a turtle. We knew that. The hedgehog. No, Nocturnal. It's what it's called when you stay up all night and sleep all day. All right. Yeah. Get to the part where it shoots the spikes off its back. She actually doesn't shoot them, Professor. They're modified hairs that she uses for protection. Ew, gross. That sounds like the Bosley technique. <laughs> Is this thing scary? No. This thing's not scary? No. Is it cute and cuddly? Yeah. Hey, get it out of here. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. All right. Everyone say goodbye to Salt. Bye, Bye Salt. Salt. A big fluffy disappointment. Hi, hi, Goya. Hey, Dad, I hope you're ready. We're going to try you again, okay? Let's see. Something scary. Something scary. Oreo! Hey! Oreo, get back! Oreo! I almost had her. <laughs> Stop mocking me! <laughs> hey, look! I found a pillow. Oh, my God. I drank five Red Bulls. I don't need this. It Into is. the cauldron. It was very pretty. It is pretty. I like to bedazzle everything. <laughs> hey, Dad, did this one do anything? Ah. Good morning! Oh! Good morning! Oh, sorry. Uh, your underwear's showing. Yeah, pull that up. Uh, okay, well, what are you supposed to be? I'm Sleeping Beauty. Are you? All right, well, yes. besides the outfit being scary, how is Sleeping Beauty scary? Oh, Professor, my fairy tale is terrifying. It starts with an evil queen, and then... <laughs> Wake up. Oh, I'm sorry. Get I'm back to the, uh, Get back to the part where this is supposed to be scary. Oh, well, Professor, my fairy tale is terrifying. Wait, I have found my prince charming. Where are you going? <laughs> Just tap him, he'll wake up. Because you did the X mark. Oh, I'm sorry, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you're not supposed to do that. He's a cute park pirate. Yeah. Alright, listen, folks. He is clinging to his girlfriend, so. Yeah, right. Beyonce. Beyonce. Congratulations. Well, congratulations. Alright. This one's for you. This one's for you. Alright. Look, okay, lab coat's coming off. Putting my last ace up the sleeve, alright? We're getting for realsies on this one. Say it with me, we're going back to... in October. <laughs> I'm so cold. It is so cold. <laughs> hey, you should be embarrassed because I'm prettier than you. I'm prettier. No. I want this for my niece. Oh, yeah? Well, your red tights look like a weird Ronald McDonald weirdo. Oh. Fair enough. Boo! Off my floor. So just. <laughs> okay, I'm back. Whee! Okay. Weird. Okay. <laughs> it's over, Professor. Alright, I won't go vote.
drunk anymore. This last concoction <laughs> bears my name for the way it quietly slithers. When talking, it hisses, gives hugs but not kisses, and has scales but not fur or not feathers. Three, two, one, kids. What is it? It's a not doggy, it's a snake! A big slithering slimy snake and it wraps itself around you and it goes, ah! Oh no! Nom 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 Yeah, that's what happens. You're a kid and you get eaten by the snake. It eats you like a peanut butter and jelly sandwich. Really? <laughs> You. He will. Look at this goofy hat. But she's not scary either, Professor. This is El Toro. Everyone say hi to El Toro. Hi, El Toro. And watch out for El Toro because if you're wearing red, it will charge you. No, Professor. She's named El Toro because she is a bull snake. Exactly. If you're wearing red, she'll charge you. <laughs> no, that's a real bull. Oh, well, you're full of bull. Well, She's a rattlesnake mimic. A rattlesnake mimic? Yeah. So it's a hipster, a poser. Mm, no, Professor. She looks just like a rattlesnake, and she can even shake her tail to make that sound. It's how she protects herself from predators. Yeah, so she shakes her tail to protect herself from predators? Yeah, they think that she's a rattlesnake. You don't want to mess with one of those. Oh, no, you definitely don't want to mess with one of those. But you definitely don't want to see me shake my tail when I'm getting chased by predators. We prefer to not see you shake your tail anymore. At all. We already saw it once. We don't need to see that again. We'll get to the but part. She needs to protect herself like that because she's not venomous. She not? is a constrictor. Oh, that sounds like my ex-wife. <laughs> She's not venomous, but like I said, she's a constrictor, so when she wants to eat, she will grip her prey a great big squeeze and then swallow it whole. Tight hug swallows food whole. Right. That just sounds like Grandpa Thanksgiving. <laughs> well, remind me not to go to your house for the holidays and visit that guy. Yeah, no, it's very scary. Well, why don't you get to the part where the battery has to trip it from its fangs? No fangs, Professor. I told you, he's not. she's non-venomous. But she's here a carnivore. That means that she eats other animals. Mostly rats. Rats? Mice. Mice. Right. Well, good thing we're at Six Flags, not the other theme park. Oh! 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 Yep. So is this thing scary? No. This thing's not scary? Not at all? No. All right. Well, get, get it out of my lab. Get it out. Get it out. Get it out. All right. Everyone say goodbye to El Toro. Bye, Bye El Toro. Toro. Here today, boys and girls, I learned that I'm a failure, a big fat failure. I try year after year after year to scare kids. I just can't do it. Oh, eight years of community college down the drain. <laughs> oh, professor, you're not a failure. You might not have scared any of these people, but you did show them how. The, how these animals are awesome for the environment. How they're not scary at all when you preserve their lifestyle and their ecosystem. My thoughts exactly. I get that every year. <laughs> oh, professor. Listen, there's only one thing that can make me feel better right now. What's that? A nice double stop Oreo sundae. <laughs> Jets last weekend. <laughs> Why did the Jets get those referees for the Seahawks and Green Bay Packers game? They could have had a chance. <laughs> I'm sorry to the one Jets fan in the audience. No, you're not. Anyway, Professor, just because you didn't scare anybody, you know, this year or, or the year before that or the year before that. God help me. Sorry. The point is, Professor, you should never give up on your dreams. You know, you just gotta keep on working, work hard, yeah. don't yeah. stop believing. Did you hear that? Don't stop believing. I'll show you next time. I'll scare the past right off of you. Just a small.
small town girl. Oh, that's pretty. Living in the lonely world. And she took the midnight train going anywhere. Pass it to me. Take it away, Professor. Eat your heart out. Yeah, right?